If you are a parent, you probably struggle with what to feed your child. Many kids are picky and don't like the healthy options you may try to give them. But according to nutritionists, it's possible to make both parents and picky kids happy. News 3's Mercer Van Shore takes a look at what's in your child's lunchbox in this special report. Mercer. Finding the best food to put in your child's lunchbox can be overwhelming. Just ask Amber Fuller. Yes, I need something quick, easy. Full-time physical therapy assistant, full-time mom of two, a son in first grade, daughter in pre-K. It's exhausting because that's not what you want to do at the end of the day. Amber agreed to let us tag along as she goes grocery shopping for her kids' lunches. A registered dietitian will grade her choices. I mean, I try to do healthy, but I don't know if I am. First up, Amber chooses a fruit, green seedless grapes. They're easy to put in the lunchbox. I just wash them, put them in there. I don't have to cut them. According to West Georgia Health Register dietitian and mom of two, Heather Coggins, Amber deserves an A+. Plus. Perfect. Great choice. Next up, yogurt-covered raisins. I get those because my daughter really likes them, and I would think that's got to be somewhat good for her. You might expect raisins to be graded higher, but Coggins says don't be fooled by the yogurt topping. The first ingredient on your yogurt coating is sugar. Coggins suggests instead of yogurt-covered raisins, just plain raisins. Amber chose next Capri Sun Roaring Waters. It's got water and it's clear, so I know they're not going to come home with juice all over them. According to Coggins, it's a good choice. She even gives it to her two kids. A good choice, but a better choice. Plain water. Amber likes to cook chicken nuggets on Sunday night and put them in her kids' lunch boxes the rest of the week. I'll pre cook them and bag them, and that way they're already ready just to go in. According to Coggins, the reason for the low scores because the nuggets are left in the lunch box for more than five hours. If she included an ice packet in the lunch box or froze the nuggets, it would have been higher. They're going to stay in a temperature zone that's dangerous for foodborne illnesses that can make our children sick. Instead of chicken nuggets, Coggins says try natural peanut butter and honey on whole wheat sandwich rounds. So Next up, the popular sandwich cookie. I only put them in there like once or twice a week. I give them like one or two for a little sweet treat. Coggins says there's nothing natural in this cookie. She suggests dark chocolate Hershey Kisses or M&Ms. So why candy over a cookie? Because it has more of the antioxidants in it. It's less processed. Amber also buys chips for her kids. If this were the only bad food in the lunch, it'd be a C, but since she had sandwich cookies and chips, it's an F. Stick to your serving size, this or this, but not both in the lunch bag. Instead, try popcorn you pop yourself on the stovetop, not the microwave, or veggie sticks with ranch. Amber's overall grade was a C plus, but Coggins says the worst thing to pack in your child's lunch box a lunch they won't eat. Amber was very interested in hearing the suggestions so she could learn how to improve her kid's health. But I, I can do my part and put a healthier alternative out there. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. I love it. You love it? Awesome. And that was Mercer Van Shore reporting. Another snack Coggins suggested, make your own applesauce. Throw a few apples in the crock pot overnight. Got to give it to the mom yes. for participating, not knowing what her score was going to be at the end. It's tough with grandkids, just, you know, when they come over for snacks, trying to balance it between what's healthy and what they like. And as a grandfather, I tend to go with the sugary stuff and probably should. <laughs> well, I hope know. you were taking notes, Phil. I, I, I hope I'll get a better grade. Let's put it that way. Well, you do at the doctor.